um, five reasons why you should add online events to your marketing mix. And um, a brief introduction to our speaker. Uh, our speaker is uh, Alex, who is the co-founder and CEO of Vetly, the platform that we're using for this Motic event. It's a platform for highly interactive online and hybrid events. And he has worked in management consulting before and is very passionate about driving digital innovation. And he helps organizations to create virtual events and other digital collaborations. And today he's going to be talking on how to uh, the reasons why you should add online events to your marketing mix. And I'll just be inviting Alex on stage right now. Hi there. Hi, okay, Alex, I'll leave the stage for you right now and pull up the session. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Yes. So first of all, thanks for inviting me uh, to, to speaking today. Um, my name is Alex. And if you look at this picture, I want to know, and I'm also checking the chat. So if you're, if you're now attending, please um, write in the chat what you, what you feel when you see those pictures that are now on the screen, um, people gathering. Um, so feel free to, to share your, your thoughts in the, in the chat here. But I can share for, for me already, like this is, this is happiness, what you can see here. It's people gathering together. Um, it's fun. It's creating lasting memories, but also um, definitely very emotional. And emotions is also proven by, by, by many people that emotions is what sticks most in our, in our minds and will remind us for the, for the longest time. Um, so that's what I think everyone, is, us or most of us are looking forward to, 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 to gathering together. And uh, what many of us at the moment just get very often is kind of this, many of you might have heard about the, the term Zoom fatigue. So being in endless uh, online meetings, online events, uh, they're not really interactive, not really engaging, um, but uh, don't want to bash on online events because online events can also be, be really fun and, and really interactive as well. So both online and offline the events, they can be fun and engaging, um, but also if they're not managed nicely, then they're, they're, they're not adding too much value. So, um, who am I and what I'm going to talk about uh, as shared before. So my name is Alex and I am the co-founder and CEO of, of Ripley, the platform that we're using here at the moment. And I'm going to speak in the next minutes about the five reasons why you should add online events to your marketing mix and which value does it add. And also giving some tips on, on how you can have engaging and highly interactive online events. So, said i'm tracking the chat so whenever you have any questions any comments don't hesitate to just put them in the chat and i'm happy to to jump into them and answer them a little background about myself so i my career started basically while i was still in high school and at, at university um, in 2008 um, i founded my first own company back then it was an event management agency where we hosted events in different locations, clubs, and so on. Um, I then studied business administration with a focus on marketing. I was working at a German uh, bank and insurance company within this bank and insurance company and being in different marketing departments. I then joined uh, two digital slash marketing agencies uh, for, for internships, which was one was Jung von Matt, a quite well-known agency in Germany and Noise New York, which was a digital agency in New York, in the meantime, bought by, by other bigger players in the market. And after that, I had the opportunity to enter uh, the management consulting space. And I was working for the past five and a half years for Deloitte in Zurich um, as a management consultant, supporting different digital transformation projects, um, but also very often linked to, um, to the digital marketing space, digital uh, yeah, digital transformations. And since the beginning of 2020, uh, about one and a half years ago, I have founded together with, with, with uh, one other person, uh, Berkeley, and we are running this company since one and a half years. We are in the meantime about 15 employees and growing still quickly. Um, so very exciting journey and very happy to be here 
uh, on our own platform to present you uh, some tips about how to run online events. So five reasons why online events are important. Reason number one, positive emotions and brand awareness. So as you have seen in the first, uh, on the beginning slide, um, these are of course like events are highly emotional if you want them to be. And also if you as an organization run events, um, they help you to make your brand more aware. One good example is the current world, like the European championships in soccer, if you're following them. Um, so both physical and virtual events have the power to create emotions, especially like sports events, music events. Um, they're known to be quite emotional. People have a lot of uh, interactions with, with those events or a lot of good, good memories about these events. But this is of course also bis possible for business related events to make them highly, highly emotional uh, with some tips and tricks. And the nice part about being or hosting your own events or being part of uh, other events uh, as a sponsor is that those positive emotions are linked with your brands. So if you think now of, or look at the sponsors of this European championship, um, there's the Volkswagen, there's booking.com, uh, FedEx, Heineken, Coca-Cola, some of the biggest brands in the world. And why are they doing this? Because they know that sports and soccer uh, brings together people. It has a lot of emotions, positive emotions. And they hope, and this is also what happens, is that if people see the sports and on the in the background, they see that the logos of the sponsors, you connect those positive emotions with those brands. And I said, you can, of course, either host your own events um, or you can sponsor other events. And with, with jumping on the train of those events, you can leverage the event of the, uh, the reach of the event itself, like the road champ, like here at the European Championships, of course, they have a big reach thousands of like, millions of uh, vis or viewers they are watching every day on TV and, and online, uh, the different games. So you have, of course, a huge reach to extend uh, completely and, and reach completely new target groups for your brand and for your, your organization. This is now an extreme example, European Championship, not everyone can afford to be a sponsor there. But if you think about like, what are the relevant events for you, for your brand, for your company, um, I'm sure you, you'll quickly find up, find out about, about other events which, you, which are in the reach of your target audience that, that are highly relevant for you to, to potentially be being involved and, and taking a, a stand in, in those events. So yeah, reason number one why you should do events is definitely positive emotions and to increase the brand awareness of your company. Tip or reason number two, why it is important, it's meaningful interactions and not just any interactions, but it's directly with your target group and your audience. Very good example, we are now here, all somewhat connected to the Motic uh, community um, and the exchanges that we can have here now in the sessions, but also in the networking are really targeted, really reaching directly your audience and uh, bringing meaningful interactions and meaningful, meaningful conversations. So how do you drive those in an event, also online? I think the most important factor, what you also see many, many studies are talking about this, the most important factor for people to attending events and conferences uh, is the networking element. It's sharing it with other people, it's connecting with other people and uh, building kind of those, uh, uh, those connections with, with others. And this is possible, of course, physical, but also here in the virtual space, um, there are many opportunities to have virtual networking um, possibilities. Happy also after my talk, I will be available in the networking area on the left-hand side, on the navigation bar, you see it. So you can simply enter there and happy to have a chat directly to you. And what is even more important or, or as important as the networking part is like, or combined with it, this is all in real time, right? It's not you sending an email to a potential customer or prospect, they're responding a couple of days later, you respond again, or like always is back and forth. This is like real time. It's like no lag, everything um, happening at the same time. You have immediate results, immediate uh, feedback of, of whatever you're sharing there, which is also quite powerful compared to many other channels, where, channels that you're using where you don't have those direct, direct feedback and direct interactions. 
And these two together, they are kind of forming relationships. And I think that's what you or what most of the companies want with their clients. It's building long lasting relationships. And yeah, networking and those live interactions, they are really, really important in order to foster and build those relationships. I mean, it's also internally, right? If you if you create a, if you're a remote team or a global team and you come together one for the first time, really in a real time experience, having a kickoff event, um, the way of interacting afterwards is much, much different than if you ever only interacted via email or chat. So having this like kind of direct interactions in real time networking element, and this definitely helps to, to build long lasting relationships, which is super important for, for many businesses and also for us as, a, as, a, as an event platform. As I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it in the chat. Just uh, pausing there for a second. How can we, a little bit sharing, like how can you build meaningful interactions and giving you an example here on our platform, on the virtual platform, you have on the left-hand side, as I said, the, the networking area, happy to meet you there later. And um, this is, as you can see it here on the left screen, uh, the, our own networking area, you see people who are available, you can directly approach them, you can enter in, in video calls directly one-on-one -on -one with them, but also other people see that two people or three people are, for example, already in an, in an interaction, in, an, in, a, in a conversation. And I, as a fourth person, could then join this existing ongoing interaction. And this is basically very much as you have it also in, in, in the real events, in real time, uh, in the physical events. That's what we tried to build with our networking area. However, we also realized that this is not the most, um, the, the best way of interactions and networking for all target groups, target audiences. Some audiences are more shy. They are not so approaching. They are, they don't want to jump into other existing conversations. Um, so then you could also embed tools like uh, intro chat or other networking tools where you have, for example, a randomized matchmaking. And that's also possible and easily integratable into, into our platform. And what you see here on the right-hand side of the screen is an integration of Wonderme. Not sure if you know Wonderme, it's a, also a networking tool. There are many other platforms and happy to give you also uh, recommendations of other platforms similar to, to, to that one, where you have a kind of an avatar and it's a little bit more playful. You see who else is in a talk and you can move around like a bee uh, on this virtual space and then join existing and other conversations. Um, thanks, Kelvin, for the question. So Kelvin is asking here, what is the significant difference between online and live event and which benefits more? Well, I think um, uh, I'll talk later a little bit more about that, but it very much depends on, on, on your goals, right? And also potentially your audience. If your audience is global, then it becomes very quickly a budget topic if you want to do it online and, or, or online, online or offline. Um, but in general, I think everything that you can do, almost everything that you can do offline, you can also do online. And even more than that, you have more opportunities online for example, through algorithms, through uh, other opportunities to have a better matchmaking of the people you should interact with and exchange with. Um, benefits are, of course, also like if you if you do it online, is that avoiding CO two emissions. I think climate change is a big topic for, for everybody of us. So um, consider, considering what makes most sense for for you and your audience, but also keeping those those elements in mind, like costs, um, sustainability, and I think based on these elements, you'll find the, the, the best way. But I'm happy to share also more. I think the differences uh, and, and benefits really depends on, on also what the goals, the goals are. But pretty much everything is possible in the meantime in the, in the online world. So speaking about what is possible, um, here on the next slide, what also do I mean with meaningful interactions? It's maybe not only having a video call one-on-one -on -one where you interact with each other. But sometimes if you think more of a workshop style setting, you could also have a, as you can see here on the left-hand side, we have within our platform, within the virtual platform, you can have a video call, but also work collaboratively at the same time in a, on a, on a Miro board or any other whiteboard uh, tool that you're using in your day-to-day -day business. So you simply embed it, and this is not a screen share that you can see here, 
Um, this is really an, an embedded application and everybody can in real time interact with it and add, add new comments, uh, add post-it notes to the, to the whiteboard and, and so on. Or on the right-hand side, you see another example where you can embed, for example, a Google, Google, Google document. So meaning it's not just events, it's not just anymore about having live streams um, as this setting is now, but it's also much more about uh, really interactions, not just in the networking space, but also within the sessions. I think that's becoming more and more important because the number of distractions, especially in the online world, but also in the offline world with the smartphones is extremely high. You're very quickly moving away from your current view, from the current conference to then switch, for example, to your emails, answering a couple of emails. So keeping the audience engaged, having those tools, using them for, for interactive experiences, or as we have it here now with the chat, I think this is this is really important. And Berkeley is a great tool, of course, to, to foster those interactions, to bring really new event experiences, also in a digital world. And needless to say that you can, of course, also embed 3D worlds um, where you can walk around and, and explore 3D areas um, in here, or for example, do a virtual escape game, everybody in the same room, everybody the options to, to walk around in those 3D uh, virtual escape rooms. But just as, as giving you some examples of what's possible in the virtual world today already, and there's much more to come in the next weeks. Another example here, this was just an event last week by one of our clients. They had, for example, they have invited many of their uh, of their potential uh, of their partners and the partner companies, and this was kind of a kind of a sales event. And they had a conference the full day, and then in the evening they had a casino night where they embedded a poker game in here. And we had a live dealer or multiple live dealers dialing in from Las Vegas, um, and we had this interactive poker game here on the left hand side where you could really put uh, your actions. You could say if you uh, what what kind of next step you want to take in the game. So just as I said, giving you a little bit of uh, impressions of what's possible today in the virtual virtual world of online events, it's much, much more than just having a Zoom call, um, as, as many still do. So yeah, reason number two was the meaningful interactions directly or interact with your target group and audience. Reason number three, content. Content, content, content. I think there's no other medium of creating so much content than if you're if you're if you're hosting your own event or attending events, um, because content is being created pre the event, it's created being created during the event, and also after the event that you can always leverage. And giving you some some examples, and I think social interaction, social content is, I mean, most. Companies today are on one of the social platforms, being it LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Twitter, whatever is the right medium for, for your company. And interacting there with your audience is highly important. It's highly um, uh, or very much recommended also to interact with them on a re regular basis. If you have one post every three weeks, you're, it won't be super successful because also the algorithm is structured in a way that the more you post or the most more regular you post, the more uh, it will be valued by, by the algorithm and the more it will be shown and spread to the potential clients. So social content for events. On the left-hand side, pre-event. So pre-event meaning you can share already, as on the screenshot, it's quite small here at the bottom, you can share already uh, before the event on the socials, who are your speakers, who are your sponsors and partners. You can share the registration link, countdowns, um, much, much more. So there's so many, it's really easy if you're creating an event or if you sponsor an event to create content around this event is super simple, super easy to, to, to target, to market. And if you also embed and link to those partner sponsors, it's highly uh, interactive and uh, they also usually post, comment, reshare and so on. Also what uh, the Multi Conference here has done really nicely is creating those uh, speaker, graphics. So each speaker got their own graphic, which they then could share themselves on their socials again, which drives, of course, more attendees, more people to your conference. Then during the event, you can directly, for example, here with our tool, also you could live stream into the platform. But at the same time, if you would, you could also live stream the same content now to the social platforms like um, LinkedIn, Facebook, and so on in real time. 
but of course also just sharing live updates, screenshots, what's going on, who's presenting at the moment, sharing some images here during the event is also really nice. And what is also cool, especially as we have it here in the Moti conference, on the left-hand side, you see the social wall. So feel free to check it out now. There's a button at the bottom left uh, in the menu bar, social wall, where you see in real time how other people, what other people talking about the conference. And this, of course, helps your event, your brand, to become more aware because people, if they see themselves in the social wall, they tend to, to post more on Twitter, for example, and posting more on Twitter means more people will see your event. And uh, I, I saw the comments, I'll get back to them in a second. And uh, after the event, many people like to do some screen recording. So also all the sessions here are now uh, being recorded. So they could be made available after the event to, to other audiences. And you can still engage with them afterwards. You can make an after movie, which is quite popular at the moment to, to share the impressions of the platform, of how people interacted and what was possible and, and sharing this in the after movie. And just to give you an example there, like the biggest, uh, the biggest music festivals that, that are out there, um, like Tomorrowland is one famous example. They, get so, they got so big and so popular because of the after movies. They showed how great the event was and that attracted year for year more and more attendees. Um, so this is also a really powerful, powerful tool, those after movies to uh, already make, make people excited for, for the next year. Then what we also do often is using quotes and video snippets of the speakers, just like five, 10, 30 second snippets of things that were said, putting them out as a quote or as a video. And of course, it's also always nice to post some stats of the events, how many attendees you had, the duration, how many of the people, how much they, how long they were online, um, the speakers, how many speakers you had, how many sessions, how many keynotes and so on. So really easy to create content around all these events. And also what we see that people interact quite a lot with those contents. So using events for, for marketing purposes is also really, really good, not just for the event itself, but also to, to boost also social content and other contents. Then uh, yeah, favor shared bird is a really good tool, has lots of things and keep user attention in the event without getting bored. So thanks for that and feedback. And then also Jody said, I own a digital marketing firm that works with nonprofits. Many have switched fundraising events to online, but need virtual live streaming services. I also have an idea to do a multi-room online event within next year to partner with digital marketing firms to offer virtually as an add-on service. That's their plugin for Mautic. Um, great question. So we do partner a lot with event agencies, marketing firms. So definitely reach out to us. Um, we have a partnership program in fact, we also offer Virtly as a fully white label solution. So you could host Virtly on your own URL, your own brand, and there's no sign of Virtly at all. Everything will be branded according to your needs. And then you can resell it to your, your clients if you want. We do not have a direct plugin for Motic yet. However, we do have a, 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 a integration with Sapier and I believe that uh, Motic also has a safe integration. So, and you could directly then connect, uh, connect it. But also I think check with Ruth and the whole Motic team. I think they have found also a nice way for them to directly in integrate it in some way. But I'm not fully aware um, of, it, of it yet, but uh, happy to, to connect you with the people that can help you with that one. So that were, that were three reasons already. Reason number four is lead generations and sales. So those events are really great to, to generate new leads and also then to, to, to sell uh, afterwards. Because we said already, meaningful interactions, you directly are in touch with your potential clients and prospects. And also with prospects, this helps you to generate uh, more leads and then in the result also to generate more sales. And how do you do that? Like what are the top tips to, to improve a lead generation? I think it's really important to attract the right attendees, right? If you, if you create an event, if you set up an event, think about it first, like who is the audience that you want to attend or that you want to attract? Make sure this matches also your target audience uh, that you have as a company. Tip number two, offer valuable and highly relevant content. 
today, especially now also since COVID, you saw so many events. I think with the online events, it's so simple to create an event on, 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 the, on your, at your fingertips. So there are so many events out there and it's important that you offer really valuable and relevant content for this audience in order to attract them. Um, otherwise it, it, it will be hard because there's so many events out there to, to really separate and distinguish yourself and, and to attract people to attend. Third tip, simplify the registration process and make it as simple as possible. Also the login um, here uh, at Wordly, you have the option to whoever registered, they get a personal access link. And if you click with it on this access link, you're automatically in the event with your first name and last name, no need to register, log in, remember password, like make it as simple as possible, the whole registration and login process and really check also the, that you have the right tools for that. Then set bench benchmarks for your success. Like don't just say I do an event and let's see what happens, but really set yourself a target. How many, many attendees do you want to have? Um, how many follow-up calls do you want to create from this event? And also potentially how many deals do you want to, want to close? And with this benchmarks, don't set them too high for the beginning, but then learn over time uh, for each event and how you can, can improve them and, and, and yeah, further, further also improve the success of the full event. And also before starting, like think already about the follow-up strategy before the event, because there are many ways of interacting with, the, with, the, with the, those leads during the event, but then also after the event. And think about it first, like how do you want to do those follow-ups? Um, for example, also on our platform, you can see it on the sponsor section. Uh, you can directly have the sponsors in the event where you can send personal messages. You could jump with sponsors in a personal conversation. They could also now have on their sponsor page, they could have a, a lead generation uh, form where people could enter their name and email address if they're interested to get in touch afterwards. So you can generate quite a lot of um, leads from those events. And of course, also, if you have a registration, you collect all the emails um, from your potential leads, from everyone who's interested to, to attend the event, which you can, of course, then if you have the opt-in from them, use to target them and share some further information about you, about your product, and, and share this also with the sales team. So yeah, really effective tool using online events or uh, sponsoring other events um, as, a, as a lead generation and sales, sales tool. Again, it's really important which platforms you're using. Some platforms allow a better kind of uh, interactions with your, with your um, potential clients and prospects. Others uh, are, are not so good in this respect. So really, really think about what are your goals and then also decide carefully which platforms to choose. And all that helps you to increase the return on invest and of your event marketing marketing strategy. But definitely one reason, lead generation sales, it's a, a big, big, big reason why we sh you, should, you, you should think about adding online or also offline or hybrid events to your marketing mix. And the reason number five, it's um, a really effective tool which works with quite limited financial resources. Um, so you need limited financial investment in order to do an event. Um, having said that, there's of course a, a, a caveat. So you can, you can spend a lot of money for online events um, or, but also physical events, of course, but it really depends again, what, what you need and what you want and which partners you're working with. But this statement is still somewhat true because you can really concretely target the audience, right? You, you have an event, you define who's your audience and with the speakers, with, with, the, with the kind of sessions that you put, put up there and everything, how you structure the event, you can target your audience quite concretely. You can target them all then also with LinkedIn ads to attract them to your, to your conference, to interact with them. Um, but once they're in the event, basically it's a really easy and simple and cheap lead generation uh, and, and sales tool for, for you and your, your company. Then I, I showed there at the bottom left, like here, the um, online versus hybrid versus physical. Of course, if you want to do an online event, um, it's usually much cheaper than, than a physical event. Um, and a physical event is usually cheaper than a hybrid event, depending on how you set it up. Hybrid is basically a combination of physical and online, meaning you need to have both the location, but also the online platform. 
and it's kind of double work, but we do see a lot of traction in this space at the moment. And um, I think there will be many innovations over the next months and, and year uh, in this hybrid space on how to have how to have highly uh, highly interactive engaging events where people can attend online but also also in person then monetization options if you do an event yourself there are a lot of options to monetize it the most obvious of course is to have a, a ticket price so sell tickets for your event don't offer it for free why should you do that? Um, one reason is because if people, even if they just pay five bucks or 10 bucks, they are actually attending. So the, the show up rate is much higher um, because it doesn't help you if you have uh, 500 signups and then only uh, 50 people are, are appearing. Um, rather have 200 signups uh, who, of people who paid and have a show up rate of, of 75% of 150 people. So think about monetization options. You don't have to, I think it's, if it's a more sales tool for you, also free events work work as well, but think about the options that you have. Um, next to ticketing, you can of course monetize uh, sponsors, so invite other people um, to, to be there and, and monetize them. And uh, the, the return on investment as we shared before is quite high, If depending of course on the investment, but if the investment is limited, and online events can be produced quite quickly with quite limited resources, then the, the return can, can be quite high comparing it to other marketing tools like Google Ads and so on, where you pay depending on what you're looking for uh, quite a lot. And of course, the level of engagement is much, much better on an event than, than just seeing an ad. There's a question of can online events replicate the valve factor? Um, Yes, they can definitely. I mean, we see this every day with clients who are really uh, see this in the comments and in the feedback that we receive that people never imagine that they can have so interactive and engaging events. Like if you embed those those kind of tools that allow you much more interactivities, if you embed, for example, games or definitely check out here the photo booth, like those kind of two tools and things, you are definitely able to create a, a cool wow effect. Also, um, Mautic has used it quite nicely is the, the lobby where you can have uh, your own graphics and then kind of have a graphical navigation, which is what people quite like. Um, other clients also have really nice lobby graphics there. And there's definitely possible to create this wow effect. Also, if you think about mixing like more in the hybrid space, if you send your attendees, for example, upfront, if you send them a, um, if you send them a little goodie baggage uh, package that they receive to their home, which then they can use for, for the event. There's definitely a lots of ways to, to have a wow effect. Also, for example, we, we work with a partner, they are able to deliver pizza for your for your online event. Um, for everybody who's registered, they need to, of course, share the, the address and so on upfront, but then they will be able to deliver it or they organize it for you to send pizza globally. So you don't need to, for each country, you find a good delivery person or even for, for each city, but you just have this one player, you contact them and they order for you pizza and send it to all global, to all people, doesn't matter where they sit in the world. So happy to share also here if you have any questions, need any inputs and don't hesitate to, to reach out, contact me, I'm happy to share those, the contacts and the links and, and partners that we have. So, Summarizing the five reasons, number one, positive emo emotions and also the, the brand awareness. So making your company uh, more well-known across the, the target audience. Second, highly meaningful interactions and great engagement with especially this, this target audience and, and target groups that you have. Three, content, a lot of useful content that, you can, that has been created before, during and after the event. Uh, that can be shared on social media, used on the website and all other like newsletters, everything else. So really, really great to reshare. For lead generation and sales, events is really a great tool. And we see many of our clients who actually use online events to generate more sales, generate more leads. Um, for example, for product launches, sharing this with your audience, getting direct feedback from them. It's not just like 
making an announcement, but really engaging with the audience. Or even before launching a product, have a pre-launch party, getting maybe some feedback from 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 your close uh, close followers, close customers already, making them feel really important, and also think they're about the platform. Like in Workly, you can also have different people get, getting different access to different rooms, so you can have VIP tickets and uh, giving special special offers to to your clients. And the fourth reason, the fifth reason, is the um, the it's a really effective tool uh, where you can have a high impact with limited financial resources. Having said that, so how can we help you? How can can Workly help you? Um, we have this platform solution, which is really great for highly interactive and collaborate, uh, highly engaging and interactive collaborations. So you have this one-to-many communication where you have keynote speeches, streams, like we have it now, presentations, uh, but also those collaboration spaces where you can break out into different rooms. You can have different apps embedded. You have also the, 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 the options to embed 3D worlds, like 3D sponsor booths, other different tools, like uh, as shared before, like a digital whiteboard, games, and much, much more. And also the option to have those networking elements. I said networking is the, the is super, super important for many attendees to, to go to events. So make sure you allow them and make space for them to interact, to network, and don't just listen to your uh, to your panel discussions. And yeah, Workly is the platform currently mainly focusing on online and hybrid events, but actually we, we also see traction that it's being used as a sales platform. Um, for product presentations, for the daily collaboration in, in, in larger corporates, um, for workshops and so on. Uh, so many different different use cases that, that we see uh, for which work is being used. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to reach out or just having a chat, uh, giving you some tips on, on, on how you can improve your event. Always more than happy to help. Also on the left-hand side, you, you see the attendee paying um, or on the navigation part. You see the attendees, so click on attendees, search for Alex, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn or send me an email. Happy, happy to have a chat. And yes, what is our, I said, focus on online events. So here you see some screenshots from conferences, enterprise events. On the bottom left, you see those 3D integrations of a trade fair. And also you've seen the screenshot before about those um, kind of workshop settings. So thanks for your attention. And I think we opened with those kind of great emotions. And um, we as Workly are definitely here to help you to create really positive and engaging virtual and hybrid event experiences that are creating those positive emotions that can be connected to your brand and build those long lasting positive memories with you, your event, and your brand. Um, Alex, I really enjoyed this section, and um, yeah, we've already taken like some questions already on the chat. Um, let's see, if there are more questions. Okay, there are no more questions on the chat, and uh, I really enjoyed this event. And this tool has been really good and nice for this event. Uh, Motic, uh, has been going on, and uh, it kind of makes it very interesting as you, uh, as an audience, you get to go to different places. Uh, the broadcast, the poll section, the networking section, and also in the track and sponsors, we have like fun stuff to do, and so the sponsors good. So I think like this, um, but it so is really really like very one good online event too, and yeah, and I'm really very privileged to talk to the creator, which is you. So yeah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, that wraps the end of this section. I really did enjoy this section, and uh, I'm pretty sure people and, and others who join in would enjoy this section. All those who would watch the recordings later would do. All right, so I think that's a wrap for this section, and uh, I'll pretty much see you around. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. I'll yeah. hang out in the networking area now, so if someone has any questions, wants to connect, feel free to enter the networking area and directly uh, connect with me. Looking forward to speaking to you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Robert. Sure. See you later. Thank you. Bye.